Hi there everybody, my name is Catherine. I run Eigen Training. We work with French speakers who need to use English in their professional life to help them communicate more confidently and more effectively internationally. Today we're going to talk about another problematic word. Actually, it's two words in English. This is another one where in French you have one word and in English you have two translations. And these ones are always a little tricky. I'm going to ask you a question. What do you always do when you start work in the morning? Actually, when I arrive at the office in the morning, I always make a cup of coffee because I'm a coffee addict. So always we can use to mean something that happens regularly or very often. Now, I'm sure you actually all know this word. So the question is, when do we use the word still? I'm talking to you now on the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you, if you're a Star Wars fan. And we are still in confinement here in France. Maybe you'll be watching this in the future and you'll be thinking, oh yeah, confinement, I remember that. But right now, we are in the middle of confinement. So I can tell you, we are still in confinement. So still we use for something that is continuing. We're still in confinement. Now there is another word that's very useful to learn with these two words, and that is the word yet. I could ask you, are you out of confinement yet? So yet means something is going to happen but maybe hasn't happened at this point. And we usually use this with a negative and with a question. Are you out of confinement yet? We are still not out of confinement. We haven't finished confinement yet. Hopefully next week we'll be out of confinement. And I can tell you next week that we are out of confinement now. We are not still in confinement. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope things are a little clearer when to use always, when to use still and when to use yet. So remember yet is for negatives and questions. Still it's continuing and always is something that happens regularly. We're not expecting it to stop. Well, if you are still enjoying my videos, it would be great if you could subscribe. And if you're interested in English training, Go to my website www.eigentraining.com. We do a lot of training on the CPF so you can use your compte personnel de formation to do training with us. We also run excellent business communication workshops for the things that you really need for your job. I hope I'll see you soon and I hope that we'll be out of confinement next week.